Hi, I'm Vince, and welcome to our channel. Today will be another tips and tricks video. Kind of a continuation of the, the other video that we did, where we had some other items that we used that I didn't talk about, and so we're going to talk about those today. The first item is the chair. We really thought it was, Tammy and I think it's really important to have a comfortable chair. Every time you stop somewhere, you're going to pull your chair out, you're going to be sitting on it, and we're just not big fans of the chair with the, the tripod type chair that goes in the, the oblong bag. They're easy to store. I understand how easy they are to, uh, to carry, but... Um, we're not a fan of them. They're hard to get out of. In my opinion, they're not real comfortable. So the chair that we chose to use was, it's, it's called an I-Climb. Uh, and... <laughs> It, and the cup holder falls out. It's extremely sturdy chair. And the reason we liked it so much was because it was just easy to get out of. You know, we just enjoyed these, these chairs very much. Uh, I looked them up on Amazon and now they're asking some ridiculous $134 for them. We bought them for $79, I believe. So we will try to put up links to the original buy. But you can see how easy they are to, you just, to put, to put the chair down, you just simply push down this one lever and it collapses it. And then the, the backrest just basically folds down and then it folds like that and it's a handle. So. And, and one of the things that we liked about it, we found, when we were camped and sleeping in the van, we could stow these chairs, we could fit two of them in front of the driver's seat, and you can actually run the seat up just a little bit, and they're completely out of the way. And then when we were driving, the, uh, the caravan has little clips on the back of the seats little plastic clips and we put these bungee cords on there and we would just bring the bungee cords around and just bungee the uh, chairs behind the driver's seat when we were traveling so that's where they were stowed when we were traveling and then when we would sleep we put them up here so they're you know they're pretty easy to travel with it's a pretty good chair flashlights This is what we used. This was purchased at Costco about three months ago. I'm sure you can't get them today because if you know Costco, they promote things and then they kind of disappear. But you can see that it's, it's I think it's pronounced Fiat, F-E-I-T, electric. The heads swivel 90 degrees and it has a magnetic back so that you can stick it on the car and they are super bright it has two settings the first time you turn it on it's on its brightest setting and the next time you turn it you hit the button it goes to me like a low setting that's the one we used we could leave it on for hours and it did it lit we'll show pictures showing how it did we took some night shots. We had it placed on this side. I adjusted the I adjust I adjusted the head so that it would point right at the table. And we had the table next to the van. And it was easy. The battery is a I guess suppose you could probably buy it and replace it if you ever needed to. It's uh I'm sure it's probably lithium. I don't know enough about batteries to know, but it's rechargeable. 
so you never have to best mess with batteries. You can recharge it in the with the van. It, it also came with a headlamp, which is also rechargeable with USB, and it worked wonderful too. This is just a demonstration of how we used these flashlights when we were uh, cooking. Because of this flashlight has this head that can be rotated, you can you can basically set it at it, any angle, and it made for just a great camping light for when we were cooking. And then uh, it just and then this is the uh, this is the headlamp that goes to it. And uh, so, you know, with, between the two of them, you just, you know, all rechargeable USB. Okay. Shower tent. We never took a shower in it but we used it as a marker. When you go to the top of a mountain, a lot of times you're, you need to leave and you don't want to leave your nice stuff there just in case somebody's gonna walk off with it. We would leave this and it's tall, it can be staked down. It was easy to spot and it kind of left a marker that we had been there, somebody's camping there. We weren't too uncomfortable with worrying about somebody stealing it. A definite, a definite something we used. And we, you never know, we may have to shower in it sometime. A solo stove. The solo stove that we used was relatively small. If I can get it out of here. It, uh, it's dirty. <laughs> Look at that, I'm wearing a white shirt. That's a good thing. It's, it's kind of small. It's great for cooking though. It was so efficient. You could just, just a few sticks of wood inside of it. You could put a cast iron uh, skillet on top of it and it, it was amazing how quick it, uh, it, it was great. It's definitely a good alternative if you don't want to use gas or you're somewhere you can use wood. I would definitely, and there was times when we actually used it as a burn pit. We sat around it with just a small fire going and so we liked it. We liked the solar stove. I'll have to go wash my hands before I can do any more. Problem averted, I got my hands washed so the next thing on the list is uh, just just a just a quick note: pressure change. When we came down from the mountain, our milk spilt in our cooler. So keep an eye on your things in your cooler, drinks when you go up and down in the mountains. We didn't realize that it would make such a pressure change, but it did, and we had milk spilt in our cooler because of it. So just wanted to point out that that's something to think about. The last thing is a, I don't know if you call it a tip or whatever, but we found that when we were in the van using it as a camper, quite often you want to roll a window down or open a back vent window. I'm going to, I'm going to show it when I do it, but I'm going to hotwire the windows in the van. First I'll do the passenger window and then I'll do the driver's windows so that you can, without turning the key on, power the windows because it's a pain to have to, every time you want to roll a window down, you've got to either reach across the stuff that's in the way in the driver's seat to get to the ignition key. So using it as a camper, the windows should all just be functional. There's only two windows actually, driver's passenger window, and then the two side windows, vent windows. But I'm gonna, and I'll show it. I'm gonna show it on video. Oh, the table, I didn't talk about the table. 
uh, here's the, uh, it's called Mountaineer, Mountaineering Alps, A-L-P-S, Mountaineering. It, uh, it's a very, very nice table. The way it works is it's just this top part, kind of like that. And the way they've done it with this flexible cord. So, and then of course, then the <clears throat> this collapses, the legs all collapse. I mean, the thing takes up very little space. It's extremely lightweight. Amazon, and hopefully we're gonna learn how to do some links. We're gonna try to do some links. If the links are there, they'll be there. If they're not, we didn't figure it out. So, thanks again for watching. We sure do appreciate it. And, uh, the next video will be me starting to work on the van. This, the videos will be different from here on out. Up until this point, I've just been showing you what I already did. For me, it's gonna be easier because now I'm gonna show you the process. Tammy's gonna film me while I do it, and we will splice in and show you the process of me changing, because we're not done with this van. I've got a whole bunch more stuff I'm gonna do to it. So thanks for watching, and and subscribing and everything. I appreciate it. All of the comments. Bye.